All right, this is ReefBuilders.com, live at the Triton booth in Macna, San Diego. And I'm here with Tim Caldwell nice of Triton Applied Reef Bioscience. Yes. Um, Triton is a company that uh, first introduced the aquarium world to ICP testing. Mm -hmm. And without getting into it too much, it's a uh, you know, really sophisticated form of water analysis. Yes. Correct? Basically. And uh, tell us a little bit about the Triton method briefly and the testing. Triton method uh, is basically uh, you couple in the three elements. We have the ICP testing, which we mentioned. Uh, it's the, uh, the setup of an aquarium, including an algae refugium, and uh, dosing of four components for the base elements, which gives us all of the uh, elemental, trace, minor, major, uh, everything that the coral requires. You know, try. ever since the Triton method was introduced, and I've, I've received a lot of questions about it as one of the first American users, mm -hmm. I try to tell people it's not a method, it's no. the method. It is the yeah. analytical method of, of chemistry, and appropriate chemistry for your reef tank. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we've been hampered by uh, colorimeter, colorimetric test kits and dropper tests for a long time, and uh, there's a lot of things that we couldn't test. Mm -hmm. But since the Triton water uh, analysis became available, we've really discovered, you know, some chemical boundaries of our tanks that we have, chem chemical frontiers, I would say. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, Triton is really the first company to bring this to market. Yes, yeah, so I think uh, the individual adjustment and fine-tuning that the, uh, the ICP analysis has brought to the market, it's never been available before. Uh, obviously available in research institutes and stuff like that, yeah. but for the Joe, guy, uh, Joe Public guy, it's just totally unattainable. And you can't really rely on uh, home test kits without saying they obviously they have a purpose and stuff like that but when you're starting to get to minor minor parts per billion adjustments the trace, things, trace 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 you know what's yeah. it what's what's interesting is i've been in the hobby for like 20 years in the very beginning we all knew about trace elements mm -hmm. but they're they're talked about very generically yes you know and so for me like my best case study with the triton method and the additives has been zinc mm. i've had such great result adding tiny amounts of zinc yes. with all corals yes. and it's just one of those things you could, can't really wrap your head around no. and you can replicate that for so many different trace additives yeah like i think potassium and manganese mm. uh, iron and manganese for flower pots yes definitely. are there any others that you can think of um well for things that we've seen Majorly growth probably is down to strontium. And I know uh, Jamie Craggs has been a, a big uh, leader with that, with the Project Coral and stuff like that. that he's putting a hell of a lot of strontium in his tanks and the growth is just insane, awesome. as you've seen. And um, I, I actually believe that uh, with rigorous water analysis like Triton, mm -hmm. that we can surpass and grow supernatural corals I think so, that yeah. are nicer than the ocean. Yeah. There's certain places where you just not be able to get that energy. But for the most part, corals really have to fight on the reef. Mm -hmm. So I think in our aquariums, we can do them a lot better. Yeah. So uh, Triton has been, it was introduced to the American market about two years ago. Two to three years and ago. And Unique Corals yeah. has been your partner for a while. Yep. And uh, you guys are moving ahead and uh, increasing your footprint here in North America. Tell me about that. Yeah, well, we're trying to increase our presence. Um, obviously, the limiting factors we have at the moment is getting everything to the end customers. Uh, we're trying to increase the retail network. Joe at uh, Unique Corals did fantastic bringing it into the US. And uh, yeah, so we're just looking forward to uh, getting it in as many shops as we can and getting it to the public. So you're gonna have a new warehouse yes. in North America yes. to service uh, the resellers, Yes. right? But the big news coming early next year mm -hmm. is a new machine. Yes, we're uh, getting, North America will be getting its very own lab. As, uh, as I mentioned, the, uh, the only problems that we could possibly have with the testing is the postal service. Up until now, people have had to send their samples to Unique Corals. Yes. Once a week, they send a big old batch over to Germany. Twice a week, or uh, as much as demand. Yeah, right. So uh, they put them together, and then they special ship them, get them to the lab within two days, and uh, then once they're in the lab, the results are done. Yeah, I think the turnaround time has been a give or take, uh, you know, 10 days, 10 give or days. take, yeah, a couple days. days. But now it's going to be a lot faster, right? Up to two to three days, something like that. Very, so, very cool. Again, it will be uh, depending on uh, how fast you can get your sample to the lab. Okay. Um, but then the whole world will benefit because all of the North American tests will no longer be going to Europe. So all of Europe will be getting a faster service as well. As I say, we, we can't... The only thing that we could improve was the speed it takes to get the, uh, the test done. Very so. cool. Well, there's um, you know a lot of activity in the you know, entire Triton line. Mm -hmm. You've got more concentrated additives. Yes. You've got a nano salt mix, I believe. 
and a, let's see, a dispenser, a bulk uh, fluid dispenser for yes. reef stores. So that's more to look out for, um, but definitely very excited about the new warehouse and the new lab in uh, Los Angeles. Thank you. So, uh, you know, good luck with that. Have a great show. And I uh, look forward to having uh, some shorter turnaround times on my Triton test. Yes, thank you. Thanks a lot, Tim. Thank you very much.